you see here? You don't have a clue where I can find Ryu Hayabusa? No one knows where a ninja goes. Team Ninja already remixed the original Ninja Gaiden for the PlayStation 3 with Ninja Gaiden Sigma, and now it's delivered a second rework on the system for Ninja Gaiden 2. The first Sigma included a challenge mode and some campaign missions for the buxom blonde Rachel, but this time, the developer has truly thrown the kitchen sink at the project. There's a laundry list of changes that will endear it to a wider audience, but have they made an already good game great? <laughs> played any Ninja Gaiden game before, then you're already familiar with the ninja Ryu Hayabusa, one of the senior members of the Dragon Clan. The game begins with an invasion of his village by the Black Spider Clan that leaves the fate of his father in doubt. Making matters worse, a greater fiend named Elizabeth has stolen a relic capable of reviving the Arch Fiend and sending the world into madness. Ryu must track Elizabeth all over the world looking to recapture the statue and end her evil plot. Sigma 2 adds a significant number of characters and cinemas to the mix, yet the story never loses its continuity or coherence. Much more context is provided and some holes are filled, but there's no escaping the rote tale from the original. Enemies go on diatribes that needlessly give Ryu clues, but avenging his father and saving his clan still manages to carry you through the game. I'm not going to let a perfectly good chance for revenge slip through my fingers. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 is about as straightforward as games come these days. You fight from one save point to the next, collecting and buying items, procuring and upgrading weapons, increasing spell power, and taking on a deluge of bosses. Linearity is the order of the day, with the few branching paths leading to item boxes, the store, or save statues. Sigma 2 shuffles the frequency and location of all these elements, cutting down significantly on long slogs through throngs of enemies. The rebounding health meter returns from the original, and while it dials back the tension a bit, knowing that if you complete a skirmish, you'll recover most of your health, it's far better than the frustration of having to restore every bit of lost life. Frequent checkpoints and a continue option quell the annoyance even further. You can install the game on your PS3 hard drive, nearly halving those load times from the Xbox 360 iteration. And there's even a digital comic to experience while you do it. <laughs> Unlike a lot of recent action games, this one isn't over in eight hours. It was already a meaty game with over a dozen chapters, but now there are three playable characters that add completely new missions to the campaign. Rachel from the first Sigma, Siri stalwart Ayune, and Momichi from the DS game are all playable. And while you do end up retreading familiar ground, these additions come complete with new bosses, with most being woven into the rest of the game. Once you complete it, two more difficulty settings unlock, as well as a challenge mode that will be familiar to anyone who played the first Sigma. These enemy-slaying marathons were included within the campaign in the original Ninja Gaiden 2 in the form of Tests of Valor, but they've been moved to their own mode for Sigma 2. We're not complaining. Yeah! The final design element is 30 cooperative missions that you can play online with a friend. You can't play the campaign, but these separate challenges are well-designed, and you unlock new characters and weapons to use as you complete the single-player story mode. Anyone who has played a lot of recent games in the genre will be surprised at how much value they'll get from Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. The campaign is robust, the extra difficulty settings drastically change the game, and the challenge and co-op options aren't just throwaways. <laughs> How many games have you played with sluggish controls that pull you out of the experience? Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 is the exact opposite of that. The controls and attacks are so responsive that it can be hard for your eyes to keep up. Of course, the finicky camera doesn't help much, though it is improved a bit from the original. That said, as far as weapons-based combat goes, this series has no equal. 
There are nine main weapons that can be upgraded twice, including a brand new broadsword called Enma's Fang. Many of the weapons are difficult to use with success, and the movesets for each one border on the ridiculous, but there's a lot here to master. Projectile weapons are also a part of the mix, and you'll get a bow and, believe it or not, a brand new gun. In a change from the original, you get unlimited ammo for both. We don't know that we've seen a game with this many boss fights. The original had plenty, and now there are several new ones tossed onto the pile. The one caveat is that you end up facing a lot of them far too many times, and their strategies never change. The combat itself is a series of quick strikes designed to dismember enemies, and then strong attacks to literally finish them off with obliteration techniques. Enemies keep coming even after losing more than one limb, and they're more dangerous in this state, causing you to constantly survey the battlefield for cleanup. Defense and evasion are just as important, and there's an excellent flow and timing to the combat that few games match. There are also a few instances of platforming, but they're frustrating and thankfully rare. What's really kept this series from going big time has been the difficulty. In the past, completing Team Ninja games has been a badge of honor. Looking at Sigma 2 on a whole, this is the biggest change. It's much easier. Don't get us wrong, it's still a challenge in the latter stages, but thanks to a lot of smart design and gameplay choices, you never get the feeling that you're at the mercy of a masochistic game designer. Repent! You are in the presence of a greater fiend! I am Zedonius, ruler of flame! Middleware has proven to be the great equalizer in this generation of consoles. Most games look great these days, making it difficult for the usual envelope pushers to make an impact. This is true of Team Ninja. Its proprietary engine provides for an extremely clean display that runs at an impressive frame rate. But the versatile environments share one thing in common. They're barren. The art and animation do hold up, with dozens of fantastical creatures to slash and burn and some amazing attacks, but the violence has definitely been toned down. Blood is in short supply, yet you finish a battle and there are limbs lying all over the place. It's a strange paradox. While not eliminated entirely, the screen tearing problems from the Xbox 360 version have been cleaned up, and overall, the PlayStation 3 version of the game is the better looking of the two. You can even shake the 6-axis controller to give the girls some jiggle, providing some comic relief during the cinemas. Sanji! Ryu tends to speak with his hands, but the voice acting is solid throughout, and the straightforward writing does a good job of tapping into that intangible element of cool. Ironic. I don't care what you call it. Stay out of my way. The music can get a little repetitive, but the orchestral compositions are appropriate to the subject matter. So fragile, the lot of them. So weak. I cannot stand another minute of this tedium. If you didn't play the original Ninja Gaiden 2, the changes baked into Sigma 2 can be difficult to spot. But trust us, it's undergone a huge overhaul. Everything from enemy placement, frequency, and AI to the effectiveness of each weapon has been massaged to a point where the average player will be able to complete it without losing their mind. The toned down violence also ensures that it's palatable to a wider audience. It's a drastic change of philosophy for Team Ninja, and a smart one. Toss in the extra modes, characters, and chapters, and you have the definitive version of the game. If you've been scared off by this series in the past, Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 is a great reason to unsheath your sword once again.